Boris Johnson says he does want a trade deal with the European Union, but if not, he's satisfied with terms set by the World Trade Organization. It would mean the UK and the EU would impose tariffs on each other. Prices would likely rise. The talks are stuck on two big issues, fishing and a so-called level playing field. Negotiations continue, but there are less than 10 days to strike an agreement. Our reporter Ross Cullen brings us more from Paris. This is La Défense, the financial district in the French capital, and it's hoping to be able to build itself up into a significant centre for financial services once the UK leaves its transition period with the EU at the end of this month. One potential risk for the UK is the possible hit to tax coffers if a lot of the financial services industry moves elsewhere. The European Banking Authority has already relocated from London to here, La Défense in Paris, and Brexit has forced some other jobs to be moved as well to other cities in the EU, such as Dublin and Frankfurt. London does remain undoubtedly the world's financial capital and the centre for the six and a half trillion dollars a day foreign currency market, which accounts for about 43% of global turnover. Now, London's nearest EU competitor in this regard is Paris, but it only accounts for about 2%. London also remains the centre for euro clearing, and that's a potential headache for the European Union. Clearing in financial markets is the process whereby an organisation plays intermediary between the buyers and sellers of financial transactions, ensuring a smooth delivery of funds to the sellers and debt, equity or a mix of both to the buyers. La Défense is the heart of the French financial system, in much the same way as the City of London is the banking powerhouse for the United Kingdom. But now London is no longer in the European Union, many people here are hoping to turn the skyscrapers of Paris into the real corridors of European financial power, replacing those in London. Ross Cullen, CGTN, Paris.